Greetings folks, welcome back to my channel. In this installment video of the Moonlight series, I will be sharing with you some daylight flight footages done with Waxnail Moonlight, the most awaited 4K camera from Cadex. Without further ado, let's get on with it. In conducting these test flights, I opted to install the Moonlight kit on my Hewing T1 Ranger VTOL. I selected this airframe as this one would generate a lot of vibrations and with its short wingspan, the T1 Ranger is most likely to be swept around by strong gusts, which is common these days in my flying field. This also gave me a chance to stabilize the footage using Gyroflow. As you can see, the Moonlight is hard mounted on the frame using a 3D printed platform. Please note that when I did these test flights, I was using an older firmware. Things may have changed by the time a stable firmware is released. The test flight days were not really ideal to get smooth footages as the gas were reaching 35 to 45 kilometers per hour. In the first footage, I did not use the ND8 filter to see how the image will look like raw. The camera was also set to capture at 2.7K without electronic image stabilization, but I tried to stabilize the footage using Gyroflow instead. Now let's put the two videos side by side. Note that I did not do any color grading on the footages, just stabilization on the other one. The next footage was also done without ND8 filter, with the camera set to capture at 2.7K 60 frames per second. But this time, I enabled the EIS. You may notice that the EIS did not do much in stabilizing the footage. Perhaps the 40 km per hour gas could be too much for the EIS algorithm. But please note that I was using an older test firmware. Newer firmware will include the fix for improving the EIS. On this footage, I installed the ND8 filter and set the camera to capture in 4K 60 frames per second. Still, no color grading on this one. Stabilizing with Gyroflow really yields good results, especially on gusty days. Now let's put the two videos side by side to compare. As you can see, Gyroflow really does a good job. The ND8 filter also made a difference in the color of the image also reducing the risk of overexposures. This footage on the other hand was conducted after sunset. I did set the camera to night scene this time and also removed the ND8 filter. I noticed that the image was a little dark even after setting it to night scene. Cadex informed me during that time that I would need to adjust the exposure value as necessary. However, you may consider the fact that I was using an older test firmware. Cadex has included some fixes on the newer firmwares, so perhaps this is already addressed. I tried to do some color grading in the footage to make it better and this is the result.
Overall, I like the details on the image, especially when using 4K. However, the EIS is still a work in progress during the time when I did the test flights. As soon as a stable firmware is released, I will make newer test flight footages to share with you. This concludes today's video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.